question number 6 in the quadrilateral abcd ad is equals to cd is equals to 6 cm and ba is equals to bc is equals to 12 cm angle adc is equals to 300 so there is the diagram calculate correct to two decimal places the area of the quadrilateral abcd now can okay, look at this uh, diagram you notice that there are two triangles the first triangle is a b c then we have another triangle a d c so this quadrilateral is made up of two triangles in order to get the area of this quadrilateral we shall get the area of triangle a b c so this is what you're going to do me right here a b so a b c we get the area of the whole that triangle then we subtract the area of triangle a d c that is what is going to give the area of the quadrilateral a b c d let me complete this um, triangle a d c by drawing a line so let me draw a line here to complete it so it's supposed to be like that like that so that i can start by calculating the area of this triangle adc so area of triangle adc now when you look at that uh, triangle it is um, isosceles and since you have this angle is 300 uh, this angle here would be equal to 60 angles at a point now having this angle is 60 we have this side is 6 centimeters and this side is 6 centimeters it is possible to use the cosine rule to get the length AC. So therefore AC, we can uh, denote this as uh, this one to be D, this side to be D, and then this one to be side A, and this one to be C. So using the cosine rule, D squared is equals to A squared minus, uh, this is a plus, c squared minus 2ac cosine of d go d so this is how you're going to get length ac so therefore d squared is equals to a squared uh, is 6 squared plus uh, 6 squared minus 2 times 6 times 6 cosine of 60 degrees so this will give uh, 36 plus 36 this will give us uh, 72 minus this is uh, 12 this will be 72 cosine of 60 degrees so therefore uh, d squared will be given by when you work out the 72 minus 72 cos cosine of 60 using a calculator this will give uh, 36 getting the square root uh, to obtain d so D will be given by 6 centimeters. And um, this is uh, 6 centimeters. We obtain that. So this is uh, 6 centimeters. Now having that, uh, we can now get the area of that triangle. So area of, um, of ADC. Uh, let me use... Um, you can use the heroes formula you can use also the half a b centimeter so i'll use uh, this formula so a half times a six times six and then times uh, sine of 60. this is the formula half a b of a b sine theta that is the formula that i'm using to get the area of that so this one will give Working out this one using a calculator, uh, you get this one is 15.59 centimeters squared. <coughs> 
So after getting that, um, now we need to get the area of um, the bigger triangle ABC. Triangle ABC. Now for triangle ABC, we can use the Hero's formula. We have all the sides. We have 12, 12, and 6. So let's get the area of uh, ABC using the Hero's formula. And uh, the, the Hero's formula will be S into S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Then you get the square root where S is a half of the sum of the sides. The sides are 12 plus 12 plus 6. And this one will give um, 15. So S will be 15. So now getting the area. So area will be it will therefore be 15 into 15 minus one side which is 12. 15 minus 12 the other side then 15 minus 6 you get the square root so this is how we get the area of triangle abc by simply using them the heroes uh, formula now uh, working out this one using a calculator you will get um, the square root this will give the square root of uh, 12 15 which will give uh, 34.86 34.86 now you have the area of triangle ABC and area of triangle ADC remember what you said that the area of um, this quadrilateral will be given by the area of the bigger triangle ABC subtract the area of um, the other triangle ADC so now we get the area of uh, ABCD so ABCD the quadrilateral will be given by the area of the bigger triangle which is 34.86 subtract the area of ADC which is uh, 15.59 and this will give um, you are hit 19.27 centimeters squared as the area. That is how you're supposed to solve that question.